All right, welcome back. I'm Tiffany Calvert, County Extension Agent for Family and Consumer Sciences. And I'm Angie Hudnall, Registered Nurse, Health, Pro Health Improvement Program Specialist at Purdue Farms. All right, and today's lesson is how to get support. And with me today, I have Dr. Frankenstein. Because <laughs> <laughs> here's the monster. <laughs> here is the monster she has created, the monster of this health nut. Um, no, her. Uh, she's really April Peach. I'm sure most of you know her. <laughs> um, but she's joined us today because today's lesson is about how to get support. And I just kind of wanted to share with you my biggest support. Porter, um, and that's April and we work together and we feed off of each other ideas on ways that we can improve our health and we stick together like glue <laughs> um, and she did create this monster um, in me um, about different things that I have been able to implement in my home now because I have that encouragement I have that support um, so how do you think you support me? What What are some changes that you have seen in my home? <laughs> well, <laughs> before I started here and before we got on the same page, um, your diet wasn't anything like it is now. <laughs> no, no. And, um, and once we both kind of let go of our knowledge that we knew and we got on the same page and we fueled each other's fire, um, in that um you just yeah. went, went at it and changed her whole whole her her whole household um food thoughts uh, mindset everything has changed so i mean as far as like and we gave up sugar pretty much mm -hmm. together um for a period of time like zero sugar um and then um, we gave up processed foods um and when you're new to all this you find yourself like basically at the grocery store like what 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 do i buy right like, what, what aisle do i even go down and there's been some conversations that we've had like that i've literally picked up the phone and called her and i'm like all right well now what do i put in my cart because <laughs> everything i used to buy is on the n do not get list um and it's just um learning together bouncing ideas off of one another um and it's kind of like you build your support system too because then i met angie mm -hmm. um which thinks along the same lines and we bounce ideas off of one another we share recipes together um you know you just you'll find yourself to a point where you're like what's for dinner like what can i even eat Mm -hmm. um, if you've set all these goals for yourself um, and that's where the support comes in um, and it's so necessary so support can come from family friends co-workers um, or the lack of support can come from them as well that's mm -hmm. right um, I ran into a lot of hesitation in my family at first um, you know with a five six year old sitting at the dinner table saying um, that looks like cow poop and I'm not going to eat it. You know? <laughs> and so, those were the words I was mad. <laughs> <laughs> but now he's kind of adjusted to that a little bit, um, you know, because I'm pretty hard-headed and I stuck to my guns with the support that I had, um, knowing that these are my goals, this is what I want to achieve, this is where I want to be. Um, and so my family tried a lot of new things and um, you know just here the other day we were having spaghetti squash with alfredo sauce and I had a package of frozen beet spirals so it was noodles made out of beets <laughs> and so in my mind I was thinking well I'll just dump in some of that in with the spaghetti squash covered up with some white sauce they'll never know it <laughs> So I dumped it in, and of course the redness in those beets turned every noodle red. And so then you add white sauce, and it's pink. Oh, wow. Well. And so I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> now what do I do? I can't hide this. And so um, because I, my husband is now on the same page, our goals are the same as far as what we want, you know, health-related, um, he comes in the door, and normally he would have said, what's that? <laughs> but instead, he come in knowing that the kids were going to have that reaction. He said, 
oh boy, we're eating worms for dinner. <laughs> and of course, with girls, that might have not worked. Yeah. But with two young boys, my boys were like, worms? <laughs> That's so cool. And they ate every bit of it. Awesome. They ate every bit of it. And so support. I know. Oh, they're like, this is worms. This is so cool. Um, as soon as if he had walked in the door and said, ooh, what is that? And yeah. why are you trying to feed me that? Mm-hmm. Then they would have said, what is that? And exactly. I'm not eating it. Mm-hmm. You know? yeah. So they feed right. off of it. We yeah. all feed right. off each other. Exactly. And we hold each other accountable. So. Yeah, I mm-hmm. mean, we eat with our eyes first, mm-hmm. and and whatever Daddy thinks of the meal um, before the kids even see it, taste it, smell it, or anything, is their attitude. They're going to have the same attitude. That's right. Um, and so some people think I'm hardcore in the fact that if I work hard on dinner, what's on your plate is what you get for dinner. Um, and there has been times where my kids have decided to leave it, and they can, but it's not at least an hour later until they get a second option. It's not a common thing to get a second option, and usually the second option is um, natural peanut butter with some jelly on whole wheat toast. There you go. You know? So, and there's been a couple of times where we've had to go to that, but for the most part, they're really open now to trying new things. Um, and so, who, who's been, who was initially your first supporter? My Aunt Bess would have been my first reporter. I saw her live that lifestyle growing up, and I didn't see anybody else live that lifestyle. And so it fueled that passion in me, and then I just grew on that, and I would learn from her and ask her questions, and I just, I, she just awoke that in me at a, at a young age. Um, she would drink barley green, and she had organic things in her house, and I never saw that anywhere else and she juiced and she juiced carrots and so I loved that and then I became I worked at a chiropractor's office at probably age 17 I started there and chiropractic is a holistic mindset and um, so he has a holistic mindset where I was working and so him and I just fed off each other for the eight years that I worked there um, on health and eating and and what we desired for our families and you know and for our health so it just grew over time you know but those were my two main supports throughout until starting this job and then then we we learn new things (laughs) and we just keep learning yeah i mean we learn new things every every Mm -hmm. day and what i can tell you with family friends people that you're around that you work with the first step is to let those people know um, what you're trying to achieve, what's not going to be acceptable to you anymore. Um, that's like, you know, if, if lunchtime hits here in our office and we find ourselves out and about, like, we just mutually know that a fast food burger joint is last resort. Like, it has to literally be the last thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, we're always looking for healthier, quick meals. Um, you know, I might bring a tomato and avocado from home, and then she's bringing some roasted chicken. You know, and we're making a taco of some kind. Um, so it really helps. So who who do you think is your biggest supporter right now? Right now, it's you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying to build this circle, right. and that's similar to what we're trying to do in this closed Facebook group. Uh, you know, utilize this Facebook group to reach out for support. You may be um, the only one in your family that's making the decision to make all these changes, um, and you're not going to have a lot of success until you have somebody to fuel your fire. Right. Um, and that's what we're here for. We're we're very passionate about it. Um, you can. Uh, see me in Walmart or any grocery store and I'm constantly educating people on what they're buying. It takes me forever in the store sometimes. Like, I just can't help myself. They go to reach for something I'm like, they have no idea how terrible that is for them. I I did the same thing last night at Dollar General. (laughs) Yeah, and it's just... I just saw it through his bag and I asked him what it was and then when he got up, I just briefly kind of mentioned... How it was not healthy for him, and then when he got outside, he struck up more of a conversation and wanted to know why, and said that his brother had told him the same things, and Mm -hmm. I just 
told him more about the product he had bought and why it wasn't healthy and what it was affecting in his life and and his liver and different things and and he said maybe I was supposed to meet you for a re- or see you today for a reason I'm gonna stop this and this is gonna be my last one yes. I drink so I'm I'm gonna quit you know? so you so, not even really knowing this guy yeah. like you're well, still was, an encouragement yeah, yeah. And he was somebody that I knew, you know, I haven't seen him often, but I knew him enough to strike up that conversation. But I'll pretty much strike it up with a lot of different people that are probably, you know, even if I don't know. Yeah. But, you know. So only you, yeah, only you know the areas that you need <coughs> the support in. Maybe you're a really good cook. You're up to on your recipes, but maybe you need a physical fitness partner to go out and walk with you or encourage you to get on the treadmill or go hiking um so you have to kind of like self-examine yourself to know what areas you need support in Mm -hmm. um maybe when you're at work and you're looking around the cafeteria and you're like what are they eating because they're eating mm -hmm. something i want to be eating Mm -hmm. then go strike up a conversation with them Mm -hmm. hey how what's the recipe for that yeah. You know, and that could be your next support person yeah. for those healthier foods. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, uh, you got to kind of get out of that shyness and uh-huh. uh, open up to people. And like Tiffany said, we can, we're on the Facebook page. Uh, anytime you can question and say, you know, I've got the spaghetti squash. Now, how do I cook, cook yeah. this again? And what can I cook this with? You know, my family's not going to go for the beet spirals. It's not right. Gonna, but I can try this on them. Mm-hmm. Um, I know I've been through the journey myself, and I have been a loner, and it's much easier when you have those support people, because when I go through the grocery and I'm saying, no, you can't have the cereal, you can't have this, you can't, you can no longer have bologna, you can no longer have hot dogs, my family's going, ah, what's going on? And then you have that person saying, you're right, you're right, you're right. This is the best thing for them. Yep. This is what mm-hmm. improves their health and helps you all live longer and help happy, happier and healthier lives. Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I ran into a lot of resistance with my husband for a while, and that was pretty miserable. I mean, he would jokingly say, what are we having for dinner? Oh, let me guess, lettuce and water. <laughs> um, but, you know, like yeah. after he realized, like, my goals and what I'm trying to achieve and how much it improved our health, how yeah. less often we're getting sick yes. than I had his buy-in. And once you have support like that, it's um, a snowball effect. I mean, it just keeps avalanching, and then before you know it, you're one of those people. Yeah, so people come to you for support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, she won't eat that. Oh, yeah, she's one of those people. <laughs> you know, oh, she won't drink anything that you have. She'll want water. Oh, she's one of those people. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm totally cool with that. I am 110% yeah. totally cool said with that. said that our society has gotten to the place where eating real food and drinking water is not the normal. Mm-hmm. That is sad. You know, mm-hmm. to where sugar and soda is what we drive off yeah. of. I mean, like, yeah. I can't even, like, a birthday party. Um, mm-hmm. The last birthday party that I had for one of my kids, it was unexpected, I guess, of my guests for the only bread I had was whole wheat, and what I served them to drink was fruit-infused water. You know, I didn't have the Coke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. We don't have it in the house. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, I just don't keep that stuff. Um, so other areas that you can find support, um, of course, is from classes. Yeah, there's lots of different classes that you can do. Of course, there's online. We have the Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Um, there's. Um, and I hope people, um, you can find the value, even though we're not face-to-face, of the Facebook group. Um, take some pictures of things that you're having for dinner. Um, pose questions. Let us know what you want to see. Like mm-hmm. we can do a recipe on a certain fruit or vegetable that you're wondering. How do I prepare this? Yeah, like squash. I'm constantly searching because we have all this squash. Yeah. <laughs> like okay. I need a healthy recipe because growing up, how do we have squash? That's it was true. it was fried in cornbread, or squash casserole. <laughs> yeah, the um, unhealthy squash. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was the only way, so you got to find those healthy recipes and, mm-hmm. of everything. Of course, there's uh, the cooking meals. They have a lot of stuff on Facebook and on YouTube and, you know, um, where you can talk to people. Mm-hmm. Um, fitness groups, you know, there's lots of groups of people 
that gets together and like just play basketball. There is serious groups for adults, and then there's just hanging out. So you know you can find those in your local area. And then of course there's the medical, the professionals that can help you in a lot of ways. You know there's lifestyle coaches and lifestyle coaches. Um, the three of us could be considered lifestyle coach in our own areas of expertise mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for sure and you know you again may be one of those end up being one of those people endocrinologist you know if you're in and you think what is endocrinologist well if you di have diabetes you really should be seeing an endocrinologist because that person can explain to you what is going on through your body will he tell you not to eat sugar he may not you know but he can tell you about all the other medicines and stuff. Nutritionists, dietitians, those people can tell you mm -hmm. very plainly, this food will help you no longer have um, foot pain. This food can help you mm -hmm. um, with your hair grow. This food, you know, food is medicine. Yeah, and sometimes it takes a professional, you know, like where um, I can advise you to not eat as many carbs um, and how to replace those, like as far as like, exchanges you know like what a dietitian can come in and say this amount of this is an exact exchange for this amount of carbs that's where a dietitian can come into play um, but as far as no wanting to know how to cook a fruit or a vegetable or new recipe or just how I function in my own home you know like the jars yeah you know you picked up on the jar idea absolutely um, you know um, jars and smoothies every morning I've got to the point where because my son is every morning when I leave to come to work you know I've made me a smoothie and he's like what are you drinking so now I've become his support system so now every morning I make two I make one for me and I make one for him so before I get up go to awesome. before I leave to work I get him up and um, I fix him a smoothie as well so yeah you know so now I'm here I'm there with him that's great. Yeah. Just being that role model right. for people around you. And then, of course, there's trainers. You know, we have at the gym. We have lots of people there that sure. that um, can help you with that. And I think we got somebody that's going to be coming to do that. Social workers, counselors, um, psychologists, and your your primary provider. You know, ask them. You know, maybe you come to see them because your child has a code and you have a question about something else dealing with health. Ask them what they're. You know, mm -hmm. what's well, I've heard that uh, ginger root is really good. What are your What are your thoughts about that? I mean, anything you know that you've got something going around in your mind. And sometimes just getting the, the opinion of more than one professional or more than one person. Um, just be your own doctor. Re do the research yourself. Um, sometimes, like um, turmeric. Okay, um, there are some health benefits that I've read about turmeric. Some people believe that you should go all in and do a lot of turmeric other people yeah. are like well I don't really see the benefits so the way I always look at that is if it's not going to be harmful why not right why, why not? not try it right um, if it perfect example is um, ibuprofen we they're reading I've read more and more studies about ibuprofen being related to problems of heart dysfunction mm -hmm. um, so turmeric and also ginger root are also pain relievers so people are switching that have had that holistic yeah. mindset they're getting off the ibuprofen and Tylenol because Tylenol is bad for your liver they're getting off of those and starting to take ginger and turmeric for their pain relief I mean that's a different option yeah I mean it's worth trying right not it's worth trying that it's a hundred percent effective but it's worth trying that's right why not that's right and we support each other in that yep we sure do <laughs> Um, so we hope that you've learned something and um, I really hope that all the participants can start to utilize the closed Facebook group um, in reaching out to us. Um, if you need any ideas, if you have questions, or if you just need support in any way, um, or you just want to, you know, tell a funny story about, you know, trying to make some good decisions and what you've ran into, or you have an idea to share with us that might help other people, right. um, just be sure to utilize that, and we appreciate you.